My name is Cyril Verlet. I'm the founder of CDV Systems and the COO of Codebook Solutions. This is a presentation describing Codebook and how it turbocharges your BIM and CAD data outside of BIM and CAD. The last item is exposing BIM and CAD to FM and GIS and for, for the O&M data, for commissioning, and for punch listing. So within the Codebook project, because Codebook was designed specifically for locating the room and therefore locating all the assets in the room, we've been able to expose the campus, the building, the quadrant, the level, the room, and the asset to other products outside of Codebook, such as Maximo. So here we can actually bring assets right from Codebook into Maximo, and from Maximo you can then manage and maintain those assets. With ArcGIS, we can expose the values into an ArcGIS program as a geodatabase, and from there you can do all kinds of repair, replace, remove, edits, however you want to manage the data. And likewise, Codebook Mobile. This allows you access to the live Codebook project from a handheld device. Here's an example of what we're doing for a client currently. The client has an iPad device. They walk up to the room and they scan the QR code of that room. Within the Codebook device, it then brings up the, the actual Codebook project on their server with that particular room and from there they can then do all kinds of punch listing if they want to take a photograph they can take a photograph of that particular room and add a note there's a leaky tile there's a damaged floor there's a missing piece of equipment whatever that value is they can actually take a picture they can make a note likewise they can address parameters within the database for floors walls and ceilings for commissioning purposes um, and whatever values you want to display there they can also get a list of all the equipment and they can actually click a piece of equipment and from that piece of equipment go into the instance values of that piece of equipment for commissioning purposes and make whatever edits they wish. They can define who it belongs to, the commissioning date, the drawing number, the, the operational status of that piece of equipment, whatever values they want as instance values and those values are being changed back to the, the actual instance of that piece of equipment within the codebook database. So the user that's using this device doesn't have to know Revit or AutoCAD or, or Maximo or ArcGIS. They simply have a device that they can get a list that they are comfortable with and make whatever edits they need to make within the database. And again, it's going back to the live database. It's not a copy of the database. They're actually editing the database live from a handheld device. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Cyril Verlet, and we look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye-bye.